This is Coach Lee, and I'm going to talk to you about five stages when your ex regrets the breakup. So the first thing that your ex will feel when they're regretting the breakup is that they simply don't like the doubt. And this happens with a lot of things in life. Sometimes the waiting is the hardest part, and you're experiencing that if you are the one who has been broken up with because you're probably applying the no contact rule that I talk about a lot, and you're wondering what's going to happen. When am I going to hear from them? Am I going to hear from them? And so a lot of that doubt and not knowing is the hardest part of all of this. And they will experience some of that too if they start to feel regret about their decision to break up with you. They won't like knowing if you are moving away from them. If you are reaching a point where you're feeling okay without them, where you feel like you could move on, where you realize you can stay away from them because we all have egos and your ex has an ego, no matter how wonderful of a person they are, they want to feel like you are attracted to them and that you are having difficulty without them. That's just how it is. And when they start to have doubt that maybe you're handling this okay, that maybe it's not too difficult for you to be away from them, that this whole breakup is something that you're just handling with style and grace, it can really cause doubt in their mind and they will think that they would rather see you struggling with this and trying to get them back. So the second stage when your ex regrets the breakup is when they want you to bail them out of this. So they're not seeing you struggle with this. They're wanting to see that because that will make them feel like they're attractive and that you just can't get over them because they are just so wonderful and they will want you to bail them out of that feeling and of that concern that maybe you could move on and just be fine. And so sometimes what they'll do is they'll actually contact you and they'll want you to say that you've missed them. They'll want you to be talking to them as though you're just so glad to hear from them and that you've been miserable without them. Sometimes I've heard where they will say things like, I wish we were still together, but I just can't be in a relationship right now. Things that sound really profound and like it's just so complex when it's really not because the bottom line is if you want to be with someone badly enough, you will find a way. But what they want to hear from you is they want to hear you say, I do too. And then to say, why can't we? Let's just be together, please. And you just, without even realizing it, you start begging. It's like a sucker punch in a lot of ways because a lot of times clients will be strong and no contact and they've done really well and their ex will get to this stage and the ex reaches out or they come to get their things and they start with this kind of thing where I wish we were still together. I wish there was a way I miss you. And the person thinks this is the moment I was waiting for. And so they start to basically have an argument to try to get this person to take them back. And they don't even realize what they're doing because it seems like the door has been opened where the person says, I wish we were together. And of course the logical response is then let's be together. Why can't we be? And that's exactly what your ex actually wants to happen. And they couldn't put it into words. They wouldn't say, I want you to argue with me and beg me to come back to you. But that's what they feel. Why? Because it reassures them that yes, they are that attractive and you want them back and you want to be with them and they don't have to worry about you getting too far away because it feels like you will eternally want them. Now later they'll realize that that's not true, but at the moment, it basically gives them that fix to where they can just go back to feeling good again. Sort of like the day of the breakup. And I don't mean that your ex enjoyed breaking up with you, but they have this interesting sense of contentment in that even though they did something difficult and they know they hurt you, they have this relief that it's over with because it is something they wanted to do, but they also feel that they are so attractive and that's why you're miserable. And so in some ways it's a trade off. Yes, they don't want to hurt you, but man, it feels good to know that you're hurting because you can't be with them because that makes them feel really sexy, attractive, desired, all those things that most people really like feeling. And so basically when they stop feeling it or they feel like that it's in jeopardy, they want you to bail them out. And so they will bait you into begging them to come back to you only so they can dump you again. Sneaky little rats, aren't they? Before I get to stage three, please take a quick second and click the subscribe button below so you can be notified when I have more videos. And be sure to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when a new one comes out. Stage three is where your ex gets into a rebound. 
Now it doesn't always happen, but it's something that can happen and usually it happens at about this stage. And it's where your ex is fighting all that doubt that they felt and maybe they've baited you to try to bail them out and they got a little relief from that or maybe they didn't, but they think that this relationship will basically allow them an outlet for romance, boredom, loneliness without going back to you because they don't want to lead you on. They don't want to have to go through the breakup again, especially if you were dramatic and difficult with the process. They don't want to have to go through that again, which means they're not really sure they want to be back together with you. And so basically a rebound is when they haven't given themselves enough time to naturally heal from a relationship. If you can just jump into a relationship, after you've been in a serious one, then either you are doing it prematurely and this relationship is probably destined for failure or you just haven't given yourself enough time to heal and you're trying to force something. And again, it's destined for failure. Sometimes people who are addicted to love where they experience limerence, which I have a video about limerence and the chemicals associated with that where people just want that high that comes with the new relationship and all those fireworks and they don't understand how real love works and they will jump from relationship to relationship to get that beginning, to get that chemical high associated with a new relationship. And so sometimes that can be at play. But if they know that it's there, if they know that they can escape loneliness and they can get some of that ego boost without getting back together with you so that they don't risk hurting you again, but they also don't have to risk the drama and they can basically still sort of keep things in limbo because if they think you want them badly enough, they don't think that being in a relationship with someone else is going to deter you. And so a lot of times I've observed that when they do bait you to bail them out and you fall for it, that that makes it more likely that they will get into a rebound because they assume you'll still be there. And so they can kind of try things with this person, have some fun, get some of that newness, that limerence that happens at the beginning of a new relationship. They can experience that and then they want you back. They can still get you back. That's how they are thinking a lot of times after a breakup in these stages of regret. And I know how frustrating it is. Another stage of regret that can happen sometimes when they've been in a rebound for just a couple of weeks and they don't hear anything from you because you're staying strong and no contact. You're not calling them or texting them and saying, what are you doing? You're already with someone or you're, and you're not showing jealousy. You're doing the right things. A lot of times they feel that loss. They feel that risk, that fear of loss, and they will actually just come right back to you and they'll say, I want to get back together. And this is the most difficult reaction to deal with because you think you've gotten exactly what you wanted. No contact has worked like a charm. It's even busted the rebound. It's made it to where this person has come back to you. And whereas it is a positive, it's a very tricky situation because if things get back to how they were too quickly, it's anticlimactic. And basically it will cause something similar to depression in your ex who's now your boyfriend or girlfriend again. And they will actually think, oh, I was right the first time because now I feel this, this downness. I feel this drop in attraction. I feel like we've gotten back into this lull and this routine that I didn't like anymore. And they'll break up with you again. That's why it's so important after a breakup to be reserved, to move slowly, not to give it back to them all at once. You need time. You both need to feel like you have earned it again. Like you've built back that label or that status. It's really important. And so don't fall for, we're just going to get back together as though nothing happened and everything is back like it was because when it happens too quickly, they'll leave again just as quickly and they're less likely to return or at least it takes a lot longer because they want to be sure this time. So just be careful when your ex starts moving towards you, let them be the one who's moving faster. You show reserve and even say it, even say I'm open to getting back together, but I want to take it one day at a time. I'm not sure yet. They may get mad because again, it hurts the ego. They think that you would just be so happy to have them back because you desire them. You want them so bad that you would take them no matter how you can get them. And so they think that you would just obviously take them back under any circumstances. And so, yeah, it's a shot to the ego and they might get mad. You stay calm and you say, well, like I said, I'm open to it. I understand it's a difficult situation, but we can take it one day at a time if you want to. When you don't match their anger, it's a powerful response. When you can stay calm in these situations, it shows strength and that's attractive. 
So before I get to the fifth stage, take a look at my emergency breakup kit. I'll link to it in the description below. It's a culmination of my 20 years in the relationship coaching service, and it can help you get your ex back. It's taking you by the hand and leading you to get your ex back. Take a look at that. That's the emergency breakup kit in the description below. Number five, in terms of stages of your ex regretting the breakup. At this point, your ex is really getting tired, exhausted of the doubt of not knowing if you're able to move on, if they might lose you, and they're unsure if they want the relationship or they want the breakup. And so to basically give themselves sort of an insurance policy or a backup plan, they will tell you they want friendship because that way they think they can kind of keep you close enough just in case. And they can keep an eye on you. They can monitor you. They don't have to feel like that by not interacting with you that you're slowly getting further away. They can maybe even keep you romantically interested in them so that you won't go be with somebody else. And so it's not always this, well, they, they just want to keep the friendship alive. They just want to at least keep what we, we had before the relationship. It's not always so simple and pure and innocent. A lot of times it's because they want to feel like they can do whatever they want and you'll just stay on the hook right here and they can keep an eye on you. And it can also be because they want to absorb all that desire. They want to feel that from you. They want to feel that you are just sitting there wanting to be with them. And yet the answer is no, because they're just so high above you. Now, again, they probably wouldn't put it into words like that and would be offended if you suggested that that's what they were doing. But that's more of a gut feeling that they have. They're wanting to feel something and they feel like if they do this, that they can still feel it. So it's not quite as thought out and premeditated as I described, but it is something that they want and it is a reason behind them doing it. So those are the stages that your ex goes through when they're regretting a breakup.